<laughs> Some people say, thank goodness it's Friday. <laughs> oh, well, I'm the opposite of them. <laughs> 28-year-old Hannah Bartling simply loves going to work. What's your favorite part about working at Cameron's? <laughs> my favorite part is working with all of the job coaches and all of my friends and teaching everyone what working with blind people is like. Hello. Hi, how are you? Welcome to Cameron's Coffee and Chocolates. The sweet shop in Fairfax, Virginia employs people living with developmental and intellectual disabilities but it does so much more. Six ounces. This is Cameron. Does it ever feel like long hours and hard work? No, I love it so much. The idea for Cameron started percolating 10 years ago. Jim and Ellen Graham are Cameron's parents. She loved to bake and she loved to be engaged in the community. You know, there are very limited opportunities for the special needs kids. We were driving home. And Ellen turned to me and said, you know, we've started businesses before. We ought to go do it ourselves. A decade of lessons later, 20 plus workers and job coaches bake and sell cookies, cupcakes and other treats. Everyone does everything. And if you're going to work in a kitchen, you have to handle knives and you have to handle all sorts of things that are, you know, challenges. And several times, Parents have been concerned about, okay, can my child really do that? One of the great things Ellen's done here is that taken young people out of their comfort zone, made them much more self-sufficient. Just recently, I learned how to work with the Enrober chocolate machine, which is this brand new, big, huge chocolate machine, which we worked on today. Oh man, it makes me feel so proud that I feel like telling my family all about it. <laughs> A sprinkle of pride, a dash of dignity, a heaping spoonful of independence. It's all part of the mix. But there's only so many jobs like the ones at Cameron's. In 2022, the unemployment rate for people with a disability was about twice as high as the rate for people without, according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics. Early on, we decided that we'd get business cards for everybody. And now when somebody makes a particular product, they attach a business card to it that they have ownership of. The job, making chocolates. The mission, changing perceptions and hopefully changing the world. Some say that people who are vision impaired can't do all things, but it's, that's not true. I can, I can do many things as I put my mind to it. Uh, For a lot of people, we're their first job. And what my hope is, is those high school students and college students who later take all different kinds of jobs, maybe at some point in their careers, they'll have the opportunity to hire someone with an intellectual disability, and they'll feel comfortable doing it because of working here. I feel like being the person whose name is on the sign must be pretty cool. I love it so much. In a world where people can't wait for the weekend, the workers at Cameron's are embracing every day. In Virginia, with the good side, I'm Deborah Alfaro.